Hello everybody. Today is Wednesday, October 7th and it's 10.09 a.m. Our sister Patricia sent me this link. Uh, the very beginning of it, he talks about his sister. He thanked everybody for their prayers and I haven't been watching him so I don't know what was going on with her. But she passed away last night for any of you who were praying. If anybody knows, he said it was sudden, suddenly, uh, which, you know, my mind goes there. It can't help it. Was it foul play or was it a car wreck, which could be foul play? I just, you know, they keep bumping him off of one channel and they put him on another. He makes another and then and how many times now? I'm surprised he's still on YouTube at all. But anyway, uh, I start at the 149 minute mark. The title of the video is What Are the Joint Chiefs Up To? And it's this is on Israeli News Live. So they still have this channel. It must have just had like three strikes or something and he couldn't use it for a week, I believe it was. So he has to keep making new ones when you get so many strikes. You can't have it. No, no, shame on you. You can't play for a, week, a whole week. You have to stay in your room and not tell anybody the news. Okay, seriously, it's like a child's play. But no, it's not. He tells serious things. And anybody that wants to get too serious, they get, they get videos pulled. All right, so I'm just going to let you listen to him for a little, just for just a minute. I, I, uh, our good friend from FEMA, he sent me a message asking me, did I no notice that how that all the Joint Chiefs of Staff have tested positive for COVID? See, I didn't know that. All the Joint Chiefs of Staff. What? And... I did not, I did not catch that myself, but of course circumstances as you guys know but one thing that i did did i have to tell you guys is last night um i got a call from my doctor again now listen to this and uh it was over the president what he's going through what the alleged things are that he's going through and he told me straight up he said steve he said now they're talking about his whole administration practically everyone has tested positive for COVID. And in his opinion, I mean, this is a medical doctor. Uh, as he said to me, this is not possible. This is not the way a virus works. And he said, it's a virus. He said, okay. He said, for one, he said, when a person is positive with a virus, if you contract a virus, he said, it takes time for that to incubate and to go to the next person. He said, so like, for example, he said, I would, wouldn't be surprised if maybe, he said, two or three of the people in the administration tested positive. He said, but all of them, he said, come on. He said, give me a break. He said, something doesn't smell right. His own doctor <laughs> calls him and tells him this. Does this man have respect from people or not? All right. I, I just, um, I don't agree with him on his, his eschatology. But I do believe he's, when he says he's got a credible source in the White House, I believe him. Now, does the credible source, uh, what do I want to say? I don't believe that everybody who gets to work in the White House gets to know everything. They may overhear some things. But do they know the whole story? See, so how credible? We don't know. I mean, if he says he's got a source that has such and such a job 
then it would be his job to know certain things. Well, anyway, um, I'll end it there. If you want to watch it, it's called What Are the Joint Chiefs Up To? on Israeli News Live. Okay, I'll end it there, and I may talk to you later. Okay, bye for now. Have a blessed day or night, wherever you are, whenever you see this. Bye for now.